Hi. <laughs> Listen, are you afraid of me? No. All right. You're just afraid of what your mother's going to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something, when I'm connecting with this woman, all right, she's like no bigger than a pint of piss on the other side, but she meant business here in this world. And when I'm connecting with her, she says to me, Matt, she goes, I've been trying to reach my daughter in so many ways. And first of all, she says to me that she's here to clear something up. Your mom tells me that she sends you signs all the time from the other side, but you keep saying that you don't sense her, feel her, that you don't get any signs from your mother. Do you understand that? Your mother goes, I am in that house with you all the time. She goes, what do you mean you don't sense me and feel me? And first of all, I got to tell you, the moment I'm connecting with this woman, all right, she shows me that she had problems in multiple parts of her body before her passing here in this world. And she also says to me, Matt, I did not go through this alone. My daughter was with me every single step of the way. But your mom also says to me that you need to give yourself a break. Because she says to me, Matt, my daughter is so upset about the way that I died here in this world. And she says to me that you keep going over again and again and again in your head. Your mom says to me, Matt, please tell my daughter one thing. Not only am I on the other side, she says, but I have to let her know that I am safe and at peace in heaven. And your mother goes, I'm still your mother. Remember that. She goes, because, you know, when I died, Matt, my daughter all of a sudden thought she was, like, in charge. And she's telling me, like, you tried to go and, like, baby her here in the physical world. Do you understand that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> your mother says to me this. She goes, Matt. She goes, I wanted to live my life. She goes, I still wanted to be independent, even though I had all of these issues that had happened. You know, what was so tough with your mother is that when I'm connecting with her, she keeps whispering in my ear, and she tells me that she fell here in this world. Do you understand that? Yep. And your mother said to me, Matt, when I fell, I knew that I didn't have much time here in the physical world, she tells me. Because when I'm speaking to her, she says to me, I didn't come to terms with my passing for quite some time. She says, I felt that there were issues wrong within my body. She goes, but I tried to ignore it. She says, because all I cared about was being independent, being able to live on my own, being able to do all of these things. Mm -hmm. Your mom wants to let you know one thing. She says, Matt, please tell my daughter that she lived up to every, every expectation that I had of her. And I need my daughter to know that every day that goes by, I'm still here and with her. But she says to me, can you please clean the house? <laughs> She goes, Matt, when did, my, she goes, when did my daughter get so messy? Why is there shit all over the place? <laughs> that would be her. I'm sorry, what? Yep, that would be her. She says to me, Matt, she goes, you know, my daughter keeps saying I don't feel my mother. She goes, I'm in that house and I see her leaving shit around. I said, when did my daughter be like this? <laughs> and also when I'm connecting, this is weird. Did you have the cat that died? Yep. Your mother's going to me, I have to take care of her cat in heaven? <laughs> Your mother goes, I didn't even like this cat. <laughs> and she tells me this situation about like the cat getting out of the house. What was the connection with the cat getting out of the house or the cat getting lost? The cat got out of the house one day when I was at work and my husband went downstairs, caught him outside and he just scratched my husband from head to toe. <laughs> and my husband called me and he's like, there's not enough band-aids in the world to cover me right now. <laughs> Your and mother, my mother says thought it was hysterical. Your mother goes like this. She goes, Matt, she goes, my daughter. She goes, I don't know what her obsession is with the animals. She goes, but on the other side, she goes, you might think that I'm with Ringling Brothers and Bottom and Bailey, she says. Because <laughs> I got all these, all these animals that are here and with me. She says to me this, she says, Matt, she goes, I have to let my daughter know that the one thing that she's so happy about was the way that you kept in contact with the family after her passing, the way that you tried to keep everybody together here in this world and every single thing that you do just like her. You know, your mom tells me that this was the hardest thing that you went through was losing your mom because you lost your best friend. But she says to me, you know what God gave us? God gave us time to be with one another here in this world. She says because she remembers the car rides with you and you taking her on little errands here in the physical world. And she also wants to thank you for the little shopping trips when you used to bring her to the market here in this world. Do you understand that? Yep. She showed me what I'm connecting. This woman was like a coupon whore when I'm connecting with her. Because she's got all these advertisements when I'm connecting with her. And she's got coupons and coupons and coupons. You understand that? And she tells me, she goes, Matt, she goes, my daughter might not be cleaning her house, but I got to be honest. She goes, I used to stock up on shit here in this world, she tells me. She says, I was always afraid. She goes, if I was alive during the pandemic, I would have had everything, she says. Yep. So know that one of the things that she's letting you know is this. She says, Matt, she says, even though I passed, I need my daughter to know that what was so amazing was the love that we had with one another and the special bond that we had. 
She says, and because of that, I am able to watch over her every single day. She says, I want her to know that I'm okay. I want her to know that I'm there and with her. And more importantly, my soul is safe and at peace. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Give her a round of applause.